In this episode, we're going to talk about how to export your video in full high definition for YouTube. Now, there are a lot of different factors that go into making great looking video for YouTube. Um, exporting is just one factor amongst very many. And in this particular case, we're going to be using Premiere Pro CS6. Now, obviously this is not going to apply. All of you are not using that same thing. You're using a lot of different editors out there, but I'm hoping the general principles will be something you'll be able to pick up here and apply it to your particular case. You may need to do a little experimenting, but this is what I've been using for a while and have found to be working pretty well. If any of you have better ideas, feel free to comment down below. We'd love to hear from you and learn from your experience. Okay, um, down here in my sequence timeline, uh, the, the next thing you wanna do is get your um, playhead on a frame that you'd like to use as the preview frame for the Im image or the video, excuse me. And then from there, and if you if you want to kind of fine tune that, you can use your back and forth arrows, at least in Premiere. I think most of the programs let you do that. So you can go frame by frame and find one that works, you know, pretty well. So that one's that one's okay, I guess. Um, it's, it can be hard to find one when you have a moving picture. Uh, each individual frame can look kind of funky, but when you put it all together, it looks a little bit more normal. So keep that in mind. And then next you need to choose the um, area that you want to actually export. You can actually choose uh, which portion of the sequence you want to export. So you wanna make sure you choose that. You can see here, I've got my in and my out markers. Um, you can also change that once we go to the export dialog, but it's easiest if you take care of that here. Then I head on up to file, choose export media. And that brings our export settings box here. This is the place where you could change uh, which portion of the sequence is actually exported just by dragging these here. And then the playhead is on the frame that will actually be set up as the preview frame. So uh, we already set that, so we're gonna leave that as it is. Then I hop on over to this area here and the format that I choose is H.264. This is the format that YouTube uses, so best to use that. And then over here in the preset, I scroll on down to YouTube HD 1080p 23.976. Now that's what I shot my footage in for this particular um, this particular video that I'm that I'm exporting here. Now, if you shot in something lower than that, if you put it on 1080p, it's not gonna it's not gonna upscale your um, video for you very well. It's gonna have to do all sorts of interpolation. So, typically, I would recommend you choose whatever you shot in, um, unless you're trying to compress more and and uh, use a smaller output resolution. So, for example, in the past, I used to shoot 1080p, but then actually export into 720p. That's totally legitimate if you want to do it that way. Um, but lately I've been actually doing the full HD and 1080p. So I'll go ahead and choose that YouTube HD 1080p 23976. Then we go ahead and give our video a name. So we'll just name that uh, final film here. Okay, and then we want to make sure we've checked both export video and export audio. And then I swing on down here to the video tab. And we're gonna go ahead and go with the presets here. So this is gonna be for whatever format you chose. In this case, 1920 by 1080, 23976 frame rate. I wanna leave it up progressive, leave it on square pixels, um, leave everything else as it is. And then I come down here to this section, bitrate settings, and this is where I can kind of fine tune things. Now, you notice if we come down here, the estimated file size right now for this particular um, export is gonna be 49 megabytes. So usually that's pretty accurate, I'm finding. Um, but we're gonna keep our eye on that as we kind of fine tune our settings here. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this maximum bit rate and crank that up as high as it'll go. In this particular case, that's 25. So that's a 25 uh, megabits per second. And then I can also move my target. Now I cranked the maximum bit rate up and you'll notice the estimated file size did not change. We're gonna now increase the target bit rate, which is what does most of the decision making here. And I'm gonna bump that up to 15, just as a starting point. And you can see here we went from 49 megabytes to 90 megabytes. And that's pretty reasonable. What you don't want to do is crank that target bit rate up, say again also to 25. Um, that makes your video about uh, four times bigger than it was started as. So um, and the, and the, it's not as if the video quality necessarily gets four times better. So you have to be kind of careful there. Um, but typically I'm shooting at 15 and we'll just leave it at that. And uh, that works out pretty nicely. The other settings I leave the same. Then we hop on over to the audio tab here. And on the audio tab, again, I use all of the default settings. I just double check to make sure everything's where I want it. I've got AAC 48 kilohertz. 
stereo, high audio quality, and the bitrate 320. This is probably the most important setting here. And I like to leave that at 320. A lot of my videos are actually about audio production, so I want to have the highest quality audio I can. And uh, this, this preserves that without compressing it too much. So the last thing I do is I choose use maximum render quality. And then finally, I choose to cue it. And what this does is it actually opens up a separate application called Adobe Media Encoder. And from here, you can go ahead and start encoding. So that's my process for exporting video. Now, if there's anything that uh, you guys know of that maybe optimizes the video better than what I've shown you here, please let us know. We all uh, would love to learn if there is a better way to do this. But I'm finding that this is giving me pretty good output and uh, it looks pretty nice on YouTube. So thanks again for checking out the show. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. And we'll talk to you again soon.